everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a prom makeup tutorial i am super excited to be doing this because i've never ever ever done a prom makeup tutorial i know you guys are probably thinking well your channel's new i used to have another channel called urban decay babe which i switched over to this one because that one was more diys and whatnot and i never did a prom makeup look so i am really excited and happy to be doing this and i hope you guys are enjoying this video or are going to enjoy this video. This isn't a drugstore makeup tutorial, so if you guys want that, please leave a comment down below if you'd like it and also give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys want to see a drugstore prom makeup tutorial. If you guys are new here, hey, I'm Kayla. I do makeup tutorials, reviews, hauls, anything beauty related, I got you. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family of queens and kings. And without further ado, let's get into this video. <coughs> My throat's a little sore, so um, bear with me here. So I did a mask earlier in the day. Oh my god, there's a fly flying around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder it. I'm gonna murder it. I already did a, a facial mask today, um, earlier today, and I put the Tarte Marcuja oil all over my face. So the mask I used today was the L'Oreal Purifying Mattify mask that I got in the haul that I showed you guys. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Benefit, the Professional Matte Rescue primer and the reason why I'm using this is because normally I'm gonna use this too I use my um, Urban Decay Optical Illusion primer because it smooths out my pores really well honestly I really I don't I'm not no hate but this smooths out my pores a lot more than this one does like this one I really don't notice a difference but it does keep my face matte I've noticed because the last time I used my foundation I used this actually I used both of them as a primer so we're gonna do that today So now that our face is primed and poreless, we are going to be using our foundation. I would recommend a foundation that you would know you know would last all night. Um, I would use my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation, which I absolutely love. However, I've been finding an issue with it with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Does anybody else have that problem? I don't know if they reformulated or anything since they last came out with the All Nighter foundation, but um, this, whenever I apply it on my under eyes over my foundation for the All Nighter, it tends to rub off my foundation and you can't even see the concealer. So um, that kind of sucks because I actually really do love this concealer. So I'm going to be using my Fiona Styles Matte Foundation. I'm taking the shades five and six. As you guys know, I put this in my haul. I always take two pumps of six and then one pump of five. I just like to take whatever is left over on the brush and apply it on my face. Next I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in tan and just highlight my face. Taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend that out. Before anything creases, I'm going to be taking my Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder and just setting the under eyes. And for the rest of the face, I'm going to be taking my Cody Airspun and just dabbling that with my powder brush. For eyebrows, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown. I've been trying to get my hands on dark brown, but I cannot find it anywhere, so I might have to just order it. Since we're going all out for this event, we definitely need to carve out our brows, especially because I done messed this one up, so... All right, now that's done, let's move on to the contour. And today I'm gonna to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit in light medium. And I usually, honestly, just use <laughs> all these three shades. As you guys can tell, it's been beat up. Mm 
So for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking Matte Give Me Sun and a dirty ass Morphe M527 brush, which is my favorite contouring brush or contouring and really bronzing brush. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of Mac Sun Power and just go over right over that bronzing shade. For blush, I'm gonna be taking my Mac Peach Twist blush. So I'm going back in with my contour kit and just taking the middle shade, the cool tone shade, and just contouring my nose. Let's go over that. Then I'm just going to blend that out. Then I'm just going to go back in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and just clean that up and wipe away the base. So I'm going to be taking my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly and just priming my lid. Then we're taking my new Morphe 35R palette and my Morphe B13 brush, which I didn't show you guys. I actually got a few brushes from Morphe uh, in my haul. I completely forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. I'm going to be taking the uh, Perfect Transition shade, this beige shade, and I'm going to be applying this in the crease. Now, I'm just testing out this brush. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to feel about it just yet. So I would just recommend getting a nice crease brush, maybe like a MAC 217 or even the Wet n Wild. The reason why I'm not using it and I might just start using it because um, these are like perfect but they're all dirty right now. That's why I'm using this one. Next I'm going to take a slightly darker shade and just apply that in the crease as well. Next I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and apply this on the back of my hand to carve out my lid. For the lid, I'm going to be taking my Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow in Smoldering Satin. This shade definitely needs to be set, so I'm going to be taking Giza and probably some of da Daya? from the Masquerade palette, the Masquerade mini palette from Juvia's Place. That was a lie, I think I'm just gonna take Dahlia. Next I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Tardis clay paint liner and I found a different brush I got in um, like a Sephora 500 point perk thing. So I'm gonna be using that. You know, I've never actually had that struggle of glitter and liner messing up until today. Today's literally the first day I've ever had that problem. So I would definitely recommend putting glitter after you do your liner, um, especially with these like magnificent metals. Usually I do use liquid lips, liquid lipstick, liquid liner. So that really does make a difference. I'm not used to using cream liners. So, um, or a clay liner in this case. So it was a little bit of a new situation for me. So I would definitely recommend if you're using this eyeliner, Definitely do the glitter afterwards, and yeah. So right now I'm gonna go in with the lower lash line with my Crown C462 brush, and just take all majority of the, actually, the three brown eyeshadows that we used on our lid in our crease and put them in my lower lash line. Next I'm gonna take my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and this is the travel size one. For eyelashes today, I'm going to be taking my Nicole Guerrero and Eyelore collab eyelashes. And this is in 143, I believe. I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and taking Kitty Cat. I'm going to take Kitty Cat and apply that on my cheekbone. Take it down my nose. I think I'm going to mix it with Forever Young today. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to kill me. I freaking love highlight. If you guys don't like highlight, then go ahead and skip this step. You know, you don't need... Oh my god, that is crazy. That is... Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Kayla, this is a little crazy. 
it's a little too crazy for me. So um, normally what I do anyway is I'll pack on the highlighter and then usually I'll notice that it's like not blended properly so I'll just go and like diffuse it. The lip liner I'm using today is my NYX liner in uh, Ruby. For the lips, I'm going to be taking my Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Cream in um, Red Velvet Cake. Then all you need to do is finish your look with the setting spray. I'm using my MAC Fix Plus Travel Size and the reason why I bought this, I was going to buy the full size and the, it, this was the last one actually. And they were telling me this is limited edition and it's great so if I buy the full size I can just refill this. So this is it for the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and also leave a comment down below on what other prompt tutorials you'd like to see or what other tutorials you'd like to see. I'm thinking of doing a drugstore prom makeup tutorial and I'm not sure on the other ones. So just leave a comment down below on maybe a specific color you'd like to see or anything like that and I will get to it. Once again, if you guys are not already subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family of queens and kings. But I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.